Stuart Sinclair, going forward with Nina. Yes, you haven't seen anything like this. It's a jaw harp. Greeting you, Stuart. Greeting you, Nina. <laughs> um, I can safely say you're showing signs of having been to the Siberian Altai Mountains, aren't you? And shamanic doings. And my ball is greeting you. And Indeed. yes, I went to Altai in August. Indeed. Um, now, why is Nina sort of making her bowl sing to me? Well, this young lady fortunately came to me and said, I'm Nina, I do singing bowls. And like every man, I thought, oh, I know what that is. You know, put Philip full of water I and, and shout back to it. With that. Uh, however, at the time I'd had a stroke. And you need to think about the stroke, this side didn't work, this leg didn't work, eh, it was a bit like this. Through working with Nina for about four months, she completely restored the use of my right hand side as you see it now. So, do singing bowls work, you're saying? My answer is, yes they do, from the point of view that, as you can see, waving the fingers and moving legs, they sound therapy from Nina and what she does in her practice with this. And it's a hybrid, it's not just sit the singing bowl in your stomach and make it sing. As you're about to see, and you can probably hear gently, it was one of her favourite bowls, Nina is making the bowl resonate in a wonderful way. And she has, amongst her many talents, and are ready to make it work for you so that you, your body can improve. And as you can see, the evidence of my body, I can use my right hand, my right leg, as a result of Nina. I'm happy to be here, Stuart. Thank you very much for the invitation. And the whole journey and meeting you really made my life different to look at it. And it is a miracle that through the singing bowls, through the energy I channeled, through the knowledge I received from my masters, it really worked for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm really grateful to the universe that you got better. It, it was a blessing and I was grateful to actually have you as a patient. We can mm -hmm. call patient or yeah, client. Right. So, um, for those who never heard about Tibetan or Himalayan singing bowls, you can see it here, we call it now I just call it singing bowl, but some people call it Tibetan and Himalayan. There is a difference, there is lots of stories and legends, true or not true. In fact, I'm also producing documentary about healing power of Tibetan singing bowls. Currently, I established my practice. I call it Akasha Sound, akashasound.com. And you can also find lots of information there. But in a nutshell, what is a singing bowl? It is a musical instrument, or you can call it a standing bell. So this is a hanging bell we have in churches. This is a standing bell. It is actually quite ancient instrument. In Western countries, we hardly knew about it 40 years ago. Now it's actually a big trend and more and more articles, information and masters, people like me across the whole globe. America, Europe, Denmark, UK, everywhere. Where they come from? They come from Himalayan region. They are originally around maybe three, four thousand years old. And they come from shamanic tradition, Bonpo, which existed before Buddhism appeared, came uh, to Himalayan region. So it's very ancient. But the way I was trying to find this mysterious information, did Tibetan monks use it or yeah. not? It's really hard. There are some stories, there are some shamans who go to Tibetan monks and receive some knowledge. Others just say that monks don't really know how to use it. Unfortunately, Tibet is being destroyed, being discriminated. The knowledge, we're losing it. But that's why my film and my opinion is to focus what it actually does today. 
what good it does for people. So today you can see it's used in some healing therapies, be it mm -hmm. a group session or individual session. Mm -hmm. It is used in meditation practices for mindfulness and consciousness awareness, mm -hmm. both at schools uh, we see more elderly houses, yes. masters yes. like me come and do group session. And thinking ball is like a life, it's like a soul, it's a, it's a spirit which has its own life. It can get upset, it can feel the energy. When I place it on a certain person, it will feel that person's energy and somewhere resonate and somewhere not. So today we use it either, imagine lots of singing balls, different sizes, small and big, very different sound, I'll just demonstrate it. So it can have that sound. Every single ball is called overtone instrument, meaning that it produces multiple sounds at the same time, which creates certain frequency patterns that are uh, aligning together, they create certain extra waves that entrain our brain. They are believed to be entrained and they do to alpha and theta um, frequencies, which is very deep meditative state. When we sleep, we are in theta. When we are in meditation, we are in alpha. Now we are in beta. So what it does, it does indeed relaxes both our mind and body to very deep meditative state. So if you are a busy business person, you never can relax. This is the fast tool that has immediate profound impact both on your physical and emotional state. When new people come to me, they always share, that was, that was amazing, that was a miracle. I hadn't mm. had such a deep time for a long time. And if I place it on the body and steward has this treatment, so you will feel the strong vibration, you can possibly even imagine that that strong vibration goes inside the body, finding the blockage, shattering it, making the energy flow. And in the same way, if you think, oh, frequencies, you know that the sound is the most ancient form of medicine, the most ancient, shamanic, religious way. When you sing, you open up both your lungs or if you dance or do the rhythm, it really entrains us. When we fall ill mm -hmm. today, we basically fall out of our natural vibrational frequency. Uh, and in order to bring it back, your health, your uh, joy, you just need to align that frequency to the natural frequency. So everything is energy frequencies and today just simple example, if you have a stone and kidneys, doctors will use artificial frequency through the certain machine yeah. to send it and yeah. to shatter it. So there are different aspects, I can talk for hours, but it's physical application of vibration going through your body and relaxing your nerve bundle, sending the signals and optimizing your mm -hmm. getting better faster. It's used mm -hmm. so with stroke, I have people with cancer, I don't tell it treats everything, but it helps to minimize or stop cancer growing. I'm not prof uh, professional to claim it, but I hear stories. At the same time, if there are treaties, any type of injury that a person had to speed up the recovery. That's a physical application. Emotional is just amazing. People have their own journeys, experiences. For some reason, the sound, we know that the sound, when we love opera, jazz, we go and listen to it and it changes us, changes the mood. So sound opens the some kind of portal, dimension, to go within yourself, to your heart and to to see who am I, what I'm doing, maybe some emotional baggage left there that needs cleansing, you Certainly. need to let go. And well, we are all water, aren't we? Water responds yeah. to sound, so yeah. let's face it, this has, a, uh, I think, a remarkable effect. There's something that you can do where you sing into this bowl and it sings into you it, mean? doesn't it? And I'd like you to show that to people, because I think it's rather special. There's so many techniques, but one of those you may mean like, it's out of space, look. Sound.com. You can also go to Facebook page Akasha Sound. 
and we run group sessions with absolute, every month at Pandora Spa. We have gongs, singing bowls, rain sticks, we sing chant mantras. It's a beautiful journey, consists of different parts. So either individual session or group session, akashasound.com and there is a meetup group called Akasha Sound. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. You're wonderful. Let's just do it. Thank you.